Hey guys, Quang Boys are here back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video. And in this video, we're actually going to be using a brand new weapon that I just got out of a premium pack, 100,000 credits pack, called the Sweeper. Now, this is a remnant assault rifle. This thing is insane. I actually just lagged out of a match when I was trying to do this video the first time. And uh, I had a bit of practice with this gun. This gun is insane. Honestly, it may just be my new favorite assault rifle. Now, I don't generally use assault rifles that much, so I don't really have that much uh, point of comparison or that, not that much experience with it but honestly it's so good uh from what i can tell i'm just gonna try and take this dude out don't oh that guy just seems to be uh, immortal to this gun now the damage if you like me uh you snap around with a lot you will notice a drop off in the damage because all of the assault rifles in this game seem to be very underpowered i'm gonna try and give you guys a look at the gun if you check out the gun there you can sort of see it show you what the bullets look like as well it looks pretty badass the damage is pretty uh, pretty sweet as well it looks really really cool got that cool remnant art style to it and remnant like art design to it now with this gun uh you I don't, it's rare but it's not ultra rare so you can get it out of a gold pack you don't have to open premium packs but i just so happen to find it out of a, uh, a premium pack it is pretty damn awesome now, oh crap, I will be showing you the uh, the specs at the end of the video as well. I'll be showing you the specs of this gun and other assault rifles uh, and sort of comparing them all together. Showing you which sort of, how it stacks up to the other other assault rifles like the Avenger and the Matok and the Halberd that I did a video on the other day. The Halberd was like a pro version of the Matok for anyone that's wondering. That was a really good gun, so I guess this would be my main point of comparison to the Halberd because the Halberd is like my, one of my favorite assault rifles, if not my favorite like number one favorite assault rifle so far. So that's going to be a good point of comparison to compare this gun to. But so far, it's doing pretty damn well. We are playing on uh, bronze. We are playing on bronze because I didn't know how this uh, weapon would perform, how this assault rifle would perform. I thought I should probably test it out on bronze and go with the uh, bronze. Before I move on to silver, I will be doing like silver videos. Now, this is a first impressions video of this weapon. This isn't meant as like a master guide or master weapon guide. That will come like a thorough... Uh, in-depth weapons guide nice will job, come nice. in the near future once I'm a little bit more used to the uh, the weapon and used to the assault rifle and everything and I know how to use it a little bit better but until that until then I thought I should do like a first impressions and initial sort of review of this gun and so far like I said so far it's pretty damn awesome now I'm rocking with a human infiltrator just because that's my highest uh, character like my highest level character it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to rock with this character uh, with this weapon, you, it would suit obviously assault rifles that go very well with uh, with soldier types like the Krogan Mercenary or Sentinels or even Biotics because they're not that heavy. They're not going to slow down your power cooldowns that much. You're going to be able to, you know, regularly use your powers if you're using this gun as well. They, they, I'm rocking with it as my primary as well. I haven't got a secondary. It's the only weapon that I have, and it's working pretty damn well. As you can see, the range is pretty good. Let me just get that out of the way because I'm, you know. Sooner or later, I was going to blow myself up with it. I'm going to head over to the homeboy over here, help him out. The damage is pretty good as well, as you can see. Now, it does work on a charge. It's like a 100% charge system where it's, you, it, you don't need to get more ammo, but you can only shoot it. I'll, I'll actually overheat it. You can only shoot it for a certain amount of time. Look, in the bottom left, you can see the percentage of how much charge I have left in this gun. You can actually uh, shoot it a few times before it goes down to zero. When it goes down to zero, it will overheat, much like a lot of the other charge-based weapons and uh, remnant. Uh, uh, tech and remnant based weapons so that's something to watch out for but if you don't like making runs for the ammo box it can be quite convenient to use this gun i remember the uh, the shadow sniper rifle that i did a video on uh, i think that was uh, i think that was a remnant uh yeah that was a remnant sniper rifle that operated on a beam uh like a, a beam charge thing as well now that didn't work very well with that gun because that gun was pretty bad but this gun really is very good in, apart from the shadow and the uh, this gun, the sweeper, I believe that's the name if I'm uh, remembering correctly. I haven't actually used that many remnant weapons. There isn't a whole lot of them in this uh, game uh, so far. I don't think there is a few, but most of them are like uh, the normal like human and sorry weapons. But this gun is pretty damn cool uh, so far, and I like how like exotic it looks. Like the, the the look of it, the aesthetic design, like the visual design, isn't that big of a deal. However. It, uh, it's nice to have a cool looking gun rather than like one of the ugliest guns in the game in my opinion is the Matok is the like the default Matok the M96 Matok uh, assault rifle and it just looks so ugly it's like a putrid putrid sick yellow slash light brown but it's one of the best like assault rifles that is a really good assault rifle whereas this is very good but it also uh, looks quite cool as well that's a bonus to have one that looks pretty damn cool and now, as you can see, the range is pretty good. I'm hitting these guys that are quite far away. The recoil is a bit, like, a bit crazy. I'm not actually rolling with any, um, 
with any uh, mods on this weapon or anything. I know sometimes, you know, some of you might want to rock with some uh, with the scopes or something that re reduces the recoil and makes it more accurate. I don't know, but I haven't actually got any assault rifle scopes. I don't rock with assault rifles that much, so it's not that big of a deal for me. But you could, but the range seems pretty decent. There is uh, quite a lot of recoil, so aiming at a long range. Like, aiming anything further than, like, the very far mid-range might be a little bit problematic. But, it, you know, you can make it work. If you've got good accuracy, you can make it work. Now, honestly, the way it feels like the three-round burst, the way it feels, we've got some goddamn space bread chilling out there. The way it feels is pretty damn cool. It's, uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like, it's just one of those guns I know... Uh, say like the Famous from Call of Duty, uh, some of the older Call of Duty games, it just feels right, like the gun feels good, it feels right the way it shoots and the way uh, the, the shots sort of uh, get like hit on enemies, it just feels good, it feels satisfying to use and uh, as you saw the, the range is good but the recoil does throw it off a little bit. I guess if you strafe, if you strafe and uh, sort of uh, strafe and shoot, strafe and shoot, it does go quite well. And I'm going to put it to work with the uh, the, the infiltrator's powers a little bit. Obviously, when you use the tactical cloak and shoot out of the tactical cloak, so go like this and then shoot, it gives you a damage buff. Now, this isn't going to be the gun really for an infiltrator or the tactical cloak uh, sort of uh, strategy, in my opinion, because... Uh, it's a three round burst, so you're not going to get much of a damage uh, buff because it's, you know, three bullets per, per like, uh, trigger pull, I guess you could say. It's like a per burst. So the, the, the tactical cloak generally works best when it's like a, a semi automatic weapon. Like the Matok, if you're going to use assault rifles with an infiltrator, the, uh, the human infiltrator, for example, uh, the Matok assault rifle or the Halberd assault rifle, something semi automatic is probably the way to go. So you probably don't want to use this as an infiltrator or, you know, an infiltrator sort of uh, similar based character. But, you know, it can be made to work, just not sort of suited best. Now, honestly, in my opinion, this would suit the best as, uh, like, uh, maybe vanguards, maybe. The thing about vanguards is they're very, like, hit and run playstyle. Get the hell out of my way, bros. That's, like, a very much hit and run playstyle. This might not suit hit and run playstyles. I think, like, a soldier based character or a sentinel. I think soldiers and sentinels are the ones that would go best with this weapon. Also, Adept, like an Asari Adept, maybe, or the Asari Huntress, because this weapon isn't that heavy. I'll actually show you how heavy it is at the end of the video. I'll show you all the specs and all the stats and compare them to the, like, the rival uh, assault rifles, like the Avenger. What the hell was happening to me there? Like the Avenger and the, uh, the Matok and stuff. But it's pretty damn good. It would work with an Adept, would work with a Sentinel, would work with, like, Krogan's uh, mercenary or like a soldier based character, but doesn't work that great with the uh, the infiltrator's uh, abilities or anything. So just bear that in mind. I'm gonna try and take this guy. I'm actually gonna hip fire just to show you how it sort of performs when you are hip firing as well. I'm gonna move around here and uh, see. Oh, I think that's the, the one guy left off, so I hip fire this guy if he's not dead by the time I go around the corner. Now, watch how it hip fires. The recoil is kind of crazy. When you hit firing, I'm going to get the hell out of there before I get blown to smithereens. The recoil is a little bit crazy. Uh, when you aim down your sights, it's a little bit hard, a little bit easy to control. And as you can see, the reticule does like splay out when you shoot. So you're going to have to sort of uh, control your shot and don't get too crazy with your shot if you're shooting at anything, you know, further than 30, 40 feet maybe. But at uh, close range, it's quite it's similar to, in, in to use. It's quite kind of difficult to control the recoil. But it works fine. It doesn't work badly at all put that guy out or did quite a lot of damage to take that guy there. I'll show you a little bit more, like a few more examples of how it performs uh, at hip fire. I'm going to move around here, hit these guys from the flanks. Like, look, watch how it hip fires. It's quite good. There is a bit of recoil, but it's pretty simple and easy to control. These guys just got absolutely freaking comboed and wrecked. Get wrecked. I'm actually loving this gun. A lot of the assault rifles I don't like because uh, one of you guys said in the comments of one of my other videos, I think it was like my Aisha Ray sniper rifle. Uh, initial review video or whatever I called that. Um, one of you guys did say that a lot of the assault rifles, you thought that a lot of a lot of the assault rifles need a buff, and you were definitely right. Honestly, you are so right. A lot of them do compared to the uh, compared to the sniper rifles. Like sniper rifles are very very powerful in this game, and uh, so are the shotguns and so are some of the pistols. But I do feel like some of the assault rifles really need a buff. Really need like a damage buff. Maybe like the Matok and the Halberd. They've got good damage levels there's just not that much incentive to use them. Each gun should sort of have its own incentive to use them. A lot of the assault rifles do need a buff, but this gun honestly feels quite decent. It doesn't feel like it's in dire need of a buff or an improvement in any specific location. As far as I can tell, like I said, I've, well, I've only been uh, recording this video for a short while. I haven't got a lot of experience with this gun, but so far, I'm really liking it. I think it is really, really good. I'm going to dodge the hell out of there. Took that guy out quite well. It does work well with the the, uh, the infiltrator sticky bombs and everything. Just not so much with the tactical cloak. 
So if you're playing as the Human Infiltrator or the Solarian Infiltrator, and I know there's a, I think it's the Sari Huntress that has the Infiltrator cloak, or like a Stealth Grid tactical cloak, like similar to the tactical cloak. Uh, probably don't use this gun, it's probably not going to work well with that, but a soldier that's going to be more focused on combat and offensive abilities such as incinerate or, you know, concussive, uh, concussive shot or uh, adrenaline rush or whatever they call it now. I think it's like uh, overcharge or turbocharge or whatever it is. Something like that, this gun's going to work very well with, but uh, not with like a Vanguard or an Infiltrator. Someone who's got a tactical cloak will also work well with the Sentinels as well, obviously, as I said. This is doing pretty well. Now, bear in mind, again, we are on bronze, so it's bound to do quite well. But I just didn't know how this uh, gun would perform. So I wasn't sure if I should play on silver or gold and then just get absolutely hammered to hell uh, in front of you, all you guys. And really, the only redeeming quality would be how hilarious it is watching me get my ass kicked. So I thought I'd go with bronze for this time, but I will be using this weapon in future videos. Uh, probably in silver and gold matches as well. So look out for those in the near future. And like I said, I'll be doing a thorough breakdown of this gun. Once I'm a little bit more used to it, I'm working on the Aisha Ray sniper rifle uh, breakdown video at the moment. And then after, once I'm done with that, I'll do uh, do the one for this uh, sweeper assault rifle as well. But I'm really loving this gun. Honestly, very good gun. It's a rare gun. So uh, if you find it out of a, I find it out of a 100k pack. If you find it out of a uh, 50k pack, that is like a bargain. That's a really good deal. Pretty damn good at taking down shields as well. Generally, the best ones that are good at taking down shields are the ones with high fire rates. And obviously, this hasn't got the, the highest fire rate in the world, but it's doing pretty well. It does take the shields down quite well, but at the same time, it's quite good and quite effective at taking down the health as well. I'm just going to use my uh, my missile here, get wrecked. Freaking! Oh my god, I got like two destroy kills and that. That was awesome. Now, honestly, I do not see a flaw with this gun. It's uh, I'll, I'll show you how many shots you can do before it. I'll try and count them. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can do eight shots, like eight, let off eight rounds and eight bursts before it overheats, which is pretty damn decent as well. Obviously, if you uh, keep an eye on your trigger finger and don't have too much of an itch trigger finger, then you can keep control of it and it won't overheat. Uh, probably won't overheat when you're in the middle of vital. I gotta take these dudes out. They're in a freaking evac zone, man. But yeah, it does, it does a very good job. I really like this assault rifle. It may just be my new favorite assault rifle. I think I actually like this. Well, that guy just like stood there wobbling as I shoot him with the sweeper. Uh, I do actually like it more than the halberd. The halberd, check that video out. I did a video on that like uh, sort of MLG version of the Matoc uh, assault rifle. Check that out if you're curious. That was a very good gun, very good assault rifle. It had a lot of damage and a lot of precision as well. But honestly, I like this more. And it feels, it just feels like it, it's like a one size fit, fits all weapon. Much like the Avenger was in previous Mass Effect games, but not so much in Mass Effect Andromeda, because the, like, the default go-to sort of assault rifle that the Avenger used to be, it's no longer like that anymore, I don't think, because its range just isn't there, and it's, uh, its damage and accuracy aren't that great. So I think this is sort of like a good uh, alternative for it. Honestly, it does feel very good. We, we did get full extraction. Yeah, we did. All right, I'm going to show you the, uh, the specs and the stats of this weapon, how it compares to the other assault rifles. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, guys, so we're on the uh, the weapon selection screen here, on the assault rifles screen, as you can see, the sweeper here. Now, we're going to compare it to the other weapons. One thing to bear in mind, though, is that some of these weapons have actually got upgraded, uh, have, have, you know, found upgrades in packs. This is like the Matok, that's version 2. So version 1, I've got the sweeper version 1. Version 1, the, the like, the alternative uh, the Matok, at the same level as the sweeper, for example, would actually be worse. So just bear that in mind, these, uh, the, the Avengers level 3 or version 3, they're going to be slightly better than the default version of that weapon but just bear that in mind I, th I have a feeling the sweep is going to blow them out of the water anyway so we're going to compare it. I'm not going to bother comparing it to the Zalkin because I never did a video on that I hate that gun honestly and uh, it's, it's kind of weird it's a, it's a cat weapon but I'll show you like uh, what was the one we're going to do the halberd was it now the damage the halberd actually has more damage 29 more damage than the sweeper but it loses out on everything it has the same weight but less rate of fire less max clip size like a smaller clip size less max ammo uh, well, the, the max ammo of the sweeper is actually infinite because you never actually have to go and re rearm or re ammo up. Uh, less accuracy, slightly less accuracy. And uh, oh, I was looking at the goddamn sandstorm, but it does have less accuracy and it has the same weight. So it weighs the same. Uh, the, so it's going to affect your sort of your power cooldown, your power recharge in the same sort of manner. Now, the sandstorm, I did a video on that as well. That was like the most sniper rifle y. 
uh, and most accurate of the assault rifles that I have. Now, that's got better damage, but again, it's the same story. Less everything, slightly more damage, but less everything else. Now, generally speaking, damage is obviously a big factor, but in assault rifles, it's not that big of a deal if you're going to roll with an assault rifle. You want damage, go with, like, the Dawn shotgun, which I did a video on, or, like, the Aishere sniper rifle, or any sniper rifles. If you want mega damage, it's shotgun or sniper rifle, really, is the go-to choice to you know, damage isn't the main focus of an assault rifle, at least in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to go down to the Matok now. The, the, uh, the sweeper wins in every way versus the Matok. Apart from the weight, it's one point, what, it weighs one more, like one more point heavier than the Matok, which isn't going to change much anyway. Now the Zalkin, I might as well compare it to it because this is another weird weapon. I guess it's like the most exotic weapon on this list apart from the sweeper. Now the sweeper, uh, the, the, the Zalkin, I'll probably end up doing a video of this gun sooner or later. Has 25 more rate of fire and it has a slightly larger clip size, but rate of fire and max clip size are not really that that important. I feel like damage and accuracy and um, weight are the most important when it comes to uh, to assault rifles. Max clip size and rate of fire aren't that. I'd, I'd like the less important thing. So I think the the sweeper wins in that as well. Now the Avenger, the Avenger has a slightly better rate of fire than the sweeper. Slightly bigger clip size and slightly less uh, weight but it's the same thing as the Zalkin I don't think that the the places where it wins where the Avenger wins are that major or that big and bear in mind that is the Avenger version 3 so it's it's better than it, it, it's an unfair comparison really because it really I should be showing you the the version 1 of the Avenger but I just have no way of showing you that but yeah out of all those weapons I know there are a ton more assault rifles but out of all those weapons I do believe the sweeper is the best. This is the best assault rifle, at least in my opinion so far. I know there'll be others out there, such as the Revenant uh, heavy assault rifle. I really want to use that weapon. That may beat the sweeper, but uh, suffice to say, I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't used it. I haven't got it yet. But when I do, look out for the video of that. But anyway, yeah, that's my end verdict. Very good gun. I'll definitely uh, feature it in more of my videos. My favorite assault rifle out of here. If you haven't, I know, I know there'll be other guns that may be better than this, such as the Revenant. If you know of any assault rifles that you believe are better, to believe to be better than this assault rifle, let me know in the comments uh, if there's any, you know, assault rifles that I haven't thought of outside of the Revenant or anything. But yeah, that's my end verdict. Very good gun. My favorite assault rifle so far. And anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys find it enjoyable or helpful. If you did, please leave a like on the video. It would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. And if you want to see any more of my content, I'm going to be making more Mass Effect Andromeda videos than any other YouTuber. So if you enjoy Mass Effect Andromeda videos or you enjoy any of my videos in general, you should definitely stick around and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.